Okay, it's been quite a while since I worked on this car. Let's just go on to just say uh, I was otherwise occupied with a bunch of things I had to do around here. And um, so I've made just a little bit of progress here and there. Got the engine back in the, uh, the bay, which was the big accomplishment. And it went in there just like a glove, pretty spiffy. Everything lined up really nicely, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, just got the serpentine belt on. It's got a new alternator. I cleaned up everything else. Got a new uh, power steering pump. Uh, the wiring, it, you know, this wiring went in just so. If you had it, say like over here, and uh, it has to go below this line over here or above this line. If you try to put it below, there's not enough length to make it to this end over here. So it's got to go in exact same spot. So. That was a little touch and go because you know you get all these assemblies in and then realize you've got one looped in around backwards but uh, i took a lot of pictures that doesn't mean that uh, i didn't run into a few problems one of the problems that i did run into however was uh putting the um i got a brand new windshield by the way also which is nice we're gonna get it put in while uh, the interior was still out that way it was easy for those guys to come in here and, and cut it out Shout out to Eastern Glass in Monroe. They did a heck of a nice job. Came out here to the shop and did it for me. But, um, yeah, it uh, was a little bit less trouble for them to get in around the A post and then run the risk of marring up the uh, dashboard and so forth. But at the same time, now I've got to be careful. You know, got to go to paint the car and so forth, sanding and such. Got to get work around the glass, make sure that it doesn't get scratched up. Also, I got my belts back from uh, myairbags.com, which is down in uh, Georgia. Uh, they have a pretty quick turnaround time. They rebuild the belts and the ratchets that explode during the accident, and I give you the same belts back, so that's pretty cool. And uh, also, they reset the uh, module, the um, SRS module for the airbags. The whole thing was about $270 with shipping and everything, turnaround time. Like I said, they can turn around pretty good. And the, the beauty of this is that, you know, if you get a new module, you have to have it re to the car. And, of course, you got to take it into the dealer, and they have to do some jazz or something to get it to, you know, recognize the vehicle. This is the same VIN, the same module that came off the car, so the VIN's going to be just right what it needs to be. Anyway, the problem I was alluding to before was... Uh, in the process of looking for some other information, I came across the procedure for taking out the drive shaft uh, or disconnecting it from the transmission. And the proper way to do that is to document the way it comes off. It's uh, connected with a rag joint to the, um, um, to the transmission. And there's three ways that it could go on. I don't know if we can see it here or not. Probably not. But um, no, I don't have enough light under here. Anyway, it's a deal where you've got three chances, or excuse me, you've got yeah, three chances to get it right. And uh, I didn't know anything about that. I think I did, thought that there was going to be an issue, or wasn't going to be an issue with that. So I went ahead and just put it back. And then I noticed there was a little weight on it and that it said that uh, you might experience some vibration if it's not in the exact location where it was. So at least I know if there's a little bit of vibration from com coming from that area that I can just unbuckle it, rotate it once, try it again, rotate it one more time. There's only three ways it can go in. But it uh, would have been nice to have that knowledge ahead of time. And I could have a simple chalk mark on there or something to make sure that it went in the same way that it came out. But, uh, yeah, I'm learning on this thing, so at any rate, it's on setting on its tires right now. And um, I was hoping it would be a little bit lower, but I don't really have all the weight in the car. So uh, it still sits a little high here. Of course, the, the trunk lid, wood lid really weighs a lot, the back bumper and so forth. The back seats, all the interior, of course, play into it. But I got used to looking at uh, my SRT8, which is already starts out an inch lower. And when you lower that again, it gets even lower. Now, this one starts out pretty high, and then you lower it the same amount, of course. It's not going to be 
It's not going to be hugging the ground just quite as much. But uh, I've seen a couple of these on videos lowered. And uh, with this particular package, this is the iBox Springs. And um, I thought uh, they looked pretty good. So I just decided to go ahead and go along with that and uh, put them in. But like I said, I've been preoccupied with other stuff. And I said to go into the back burner. But I'm back to uh, noodling on it, and uh, hopefully I'll make a little bit more progress here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks.